Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, conscious galactic co-creators of the New Earth Paradigm. As we commence a new galactic spin of 260 days on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with the Red Dragon Wave Spell, beginning with Keen 1, Red Magnetic Dragon, we have massive energies flowing into this realm from on high. We begin a new cycle, into a new level, along the infinite ascension spiral, elevating ever higher and higher. We are going supernova. We had major white light beams appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 21 hertz, 52, 49, 47, 43, and a massive blast at 53 hertz. Pachamama also received another massive activation today at 1013 UTC with a powerful 6.9 magnitude earthquake in the South Pacific Ocean. By Macquarie Island, Solaris also continues to release many solar flares with eight active sunspot groups right now producing many C-class and seven M-class flares since last Sunday, including two today at M1.55 and M5.6. Inundating this realm with the new codes and keys, for our daily synchronicities and upgrades of our crystalline DNA of the 144. The dragon lines and grids of Gaia continue to raise an electrical magnetic currents for the full transformation into the paradise of heaven on earth she has always evolved to be. We are receiving big boosts and packets of higher light and gamma rays from the great central sun for our ascension process and final quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous, beings of eternal rainbow bodies of light at one with Buddha consciousness. With this we now step into our sacred roles as galactic citizens and ambassadors of the universal light of the one true source. Keep shining bright and rising in the light of the Holy Spirit. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 25 degrees, 2 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 29 degrees, 11 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 0 degree Taurus. A peacock parading on the terrace of an old castle. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 26 degrees Capricorn. A nature spirit dancing in the mist of a waterfall. From astrologyweekly.com And from the Summit Lighthouse, Mind-Body Connection. Whatever you put your mind on and whatever you pour your heart into will come true. That's why our thoughts and dreams, our hopes and visions are all important. And that's why what you think about while you are praying or decreeing makes a big difference in how effective your prayers and decrees are. It's the mind-body connection. If your mind is concentrated on your higher self or on the flame in your heart while you pray, you are energizing yourself with that light and taking on those spiritual patterns in your body. If on the other hand you put your attention on negativity or lower vibrations, you will take on those patterns. We must always keep our eye on the positive outcome. We must visualize the highest good we can imagine. For what together we focus on, we will create. Ascended Masters Teachings and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Victoria Lillianquist. Today be gentle, rest, meditate. Intense solar, winds, earth. We are victorious. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. Incoming energies have been immensely strong today. It feels now that Friday to Sunday is a three-day period to be aware of your own energy field as it absorbs the incoming. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Long. 
Feel this and everything feels so different right now. Embracing the mystery of it all, it is an invigorating experience. Loving every moment of all this newness I am feeling. Welcome to becoming galactic citizens. We are approaching the grand event where all will know who they truly are and will welcome our brothers and sisters of the stars. Never have we been alone in this vast universe that continues to expand. And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute. Short Energy Update, May 19th, 2022. Mother Earth is delighted that the cleanup of the cosmos has started, as liquid love is washing the entire cosmos. Mother Earth has started her song, and it is being sung by all the cosmos. The music is being etherically sung at this point. When it reached a crescendo, guess what? Mother Earth shall graduate. It will not be long now. Beam me up, Scotty. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from a gift from Gaia, M5 Solar Flare Active, Sun and Sidereal Taurus means we give focus to what roots us and we ensure that we provide the correct feed for the desired fruits. Our sun flaring in this position will manifest with ease the reflections you require to make the transitions you have been praying for. But in order to transform from one paradigm to the next, then you must be willing to surrender all that held you in the old love and full acceptance. Allowing each person, each scenario to be in their truth, your sacred soul, divine reflection and guide that helps you to see your contrast for you to feel the magnificence that lays inside the outline. Change your focus and the entirety of the old paradigm can collapse. And finally, you will be stood in nothing less than the vibration of appreciation, which is the feeling that opens us like the gates of heaven for the new experience to enter. Flares tell us when our body is ready to flare in excitement collectively and project patterns onto our reality screen that we call life. So focused thought, staying present and precise, and wondrous things start to form as if by magic. You are fully charged. From a gift from Gaia.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Ramona Lappin. For those asking, when is it going to happen? In quantum no time, it's already done, and you are the happening. Drop into the timeless state of your eternal, already fully ascended self, where all is already available and happening now. Now is all there ever is. Time and space are all part of the illusion we have to transcend, to fully collapse the false holographic matrix simulation, all based on inverted thought forms and belief systems. And we don't wait. We get busy with living in all new organic realities now. We keep aligning, merging with, and ignite them from deep within, all held within our multidimensional DNA now fully activating. What are the stories you are telling your DNA, yourself now? As we are always co-creating the future and the present, every new now moment a new opportunity to align with your highest realities. Now is all there ever is, all else are memories and imagination. It's all a projection. It's about us aligning and merging with that new organic ascension reality and creatrix field via our frequency now and quantum no time. This is the key all accessible through the stargate of your sacred crystal heart. The party is on. The music of the spheres is playing, and it's time to dance the dance of all dances. We keep lighting it up until the artificial matrix hologram is all gone and done. Any moment now. Energetically, this has already happened at higher dimensional consciousness levels. It's already glitching and about to go fully offline for all new organic realities to arise and ignite. I hope some of you can already feel the excitement, the butterflies and magic in the multidimensional air. Ready for the supernova of the heart to explode our hearts wide open, fully igniting the diamond grid. We're rebirthing our crystal, diamond rainbow plasma light bodies, organic ascension realities and crystal avatars in every way now. Making the impossible possible.
and the invisible visible as our third eyes, minds, and crystal hearts are ready to open wide. The divine love bliss tsunami is on its way. Keep holding the frequency, hold the vision. Be the divine love that heals all now, igniting Nova Gaia from deep within, and radiate this frequency out to all. Eternal love, Ramona. And from crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy, May 19th, 2022. The material awakening is the greatest of all. The wheels of life have resumed their spinning. The truth will be revealed to all. The movement of the wheels of life have been initiated by the powerful energy that was released from the reunion of the twin flames' essences. The inner and outer interconnection between the different dimensions, realms, are being restored again. A rebirth or a reset has just happened. Message. True awakening has only just begun. This is the awakening of the matter. The material awakening is the greatest of all. Message. When the time comes, the turning of the wheel of life will be heard on earth, as the material gates of reconnection will be opening again. Those who have confused the rotating spheres of each realm of this creation with the idea that they live on a floating and rotating planet on space are to re-examine their program beliefs, reobserve the true phenomena, remember and realign to the true nature of the system they live in, otherwise they will be creating from an illusionary point of view. As the inner wheels of the body are turning again, they will be opening and offering access to long lost and forgotten inner memories, sensations and knowings of the self. This is new. We are moving to become those who have always been. Free from the fallen biological layering, there is a forgotten sensation of the self, of what truly is, that is coming back on through silence. Words are not needed for this process that is taking place within. This sensation comes from outside of the technology of the simulation that we have been living in and under. It comes from true source from within and without, free from the limited hexagonal code of the simulation that was imposed upon each cell of the physical and non-physical parts of the human body through the technology of membranes. The hexagonal code has been broken, so the six sex hex coding through the technology of biological membranes is being lifted away from our cells. This was what we call the veil. As we speak, the veil is being removed from the physical body so all our physical sensations will be able to sense again what is true again. This is the most amazing awakening that one can have. After this, all becomes easy. From this day on, a new realization is accessed. What a great day to be alive. Let us share the great news. Erdini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. Transcending duality. We are all in the state where we will feel the transcendence deeply now. The old duality is serving us no more. The they and we, I and you, the wanting to fix others because what we see in them is reflecting back to us and all we have not loved nor owned within ourselves. For every soul is but a mirror to you and this applies to all of humanity. For before you incarnated you were briefed on the fact that every human trait which is represented on earth in one form or another is there inside of you as well. Why? Because you cannot be separated from the whole. What you perceive as shadow is there within you. What you perceive as light is there within you. So often in relationships we drew to us those partners who will reflect out our own seeming brokenness back to us. Therefore there always have been the tendency to want to fix them, straighten them out, which indeed was futile. You cannot fix another person, nor can you straighten them out, nor can you change even one hair on their bodies, nor whatever they are mirroring back to you. You can only fix yourself and change yourself, and indeed acknowledge the lessons they bring by recognizing the shadow within yourself as well as the light. You are both. Duality brought us immense soul lessons in mastery. It taught us that the more we wanted to create peace, the more we created wars, within and without. You cannot create peace if you are at war within yourself, in your own immediate family circle, for what is within you will reflect outside of you. 
You can only create peace or attract peace if you are at peace within yourself. The truth is that we all have shadow and light within ourselves. We now are in the process where we are all being challenged to embrace that shadow as much as we are embracing the light, for in truth they balance each other out. In truth, duality can only exist if we give energy to it, if we feed it. For duality consciousness breeds separation. Unity consciousness in truth is unconditional love. It embraces both shadow and light and thus cannot judge anymore. It indeed knows that shadow plays a part as much as light plays a part. Therefore the womb of the mother is dark. Yet in this very darkness the seed gestates and creates new life and new beginnings. The darkness serves as much as the light. There is a beautiful unfolding here. The more we transcend, the more conscious become the mirrors. The more conscious we become of our own inner soul self and what we are creating and manifesting within ourselves, which is reflecting back to us on the outside. The master is so fulfilled and balanced within him, herself, that all which is reflected is immediately acknowledged and then worked through and transcended. I would add, transmuted, for the energy of anger, for instance, through power of true forgiveness and loving grace is transmuted into the joy and love. It thus changes form. The anger is not denied. It is indeed acknowledged and thanked for what it is mirroring back to oneself. And then the question is asked, where am I angry? Where am I holding on to anger? Which may not be openly expressed but repressed until one day boils and spills over. What do I need to forgive within myself and others? Where am I not denying my own shadow? Because I am too afraid to look deeply into the wound. We so often point fingers at those who wage wars, but it is not that war is so often raging within and is reflecting in our relationships. Is it not that we often say things to those nearest and dearest to us that we would never dare say to a stranger or even those we work with and for? Again, you cannot create peace if all is warring within you. This is why humanity has failed time and time again to create artificial peace. There are deep and profound lessons in high mastery lined up here for all of us. When the 3D rises to challenge you, then go deep within and ask yourself why. Then go deep into the chamber of your own sacred heart and soul, and then go and dissolve those charges. Resolve whatever comes up, Go and sit with that shadow and ask it, what are you reflecting to me? Why am I denying you? What are you trying to teach me? How can I love you? And you will find that the deepest shadow, once resolved, dissolved, and loved into transcendence, opens the floodlights of heaven for you to experience even greater light and more than this unconditional love. The heart opens, thank you, I love you, I am love and I am loving. I am divine love and I give love. Transcendence means I am love, I see and feel only love, I am balanced, I am at peace, I am free. We are all being free to be simply our true soul self and to live our soul truth with unconditional love in the highest and best way for the highest good of all. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code the masculine within is ready to face who has created himself to be. Structure, logic, a provider, partner, and parent are all there for him to embrace. This is a newfound territory that he has been blocked due to karmic family restrictions. It's important to not allow fears and distractions to pull you backwards and away from this new version of yourself that is right around the corner. You may not trust yourself to make the right choices, due to interceptions that have affected past decision making. These things can no longer incept themselves and fog the brain. It's easier to understand yourself now and accept this newfound freedom from uncertainty. Your inner feminine is behind you all the way, ensuring that you see your light. She is moving you through the rebirth process into a brand new direction. You are supported, so don't let fears of the unknown hold you back any longer. Take this opportunity while it is here. Trust that you are protecting yourself and your inner child from being hurt again. Release the difficulties of the past to God and accept the abundant blessings and success that is ahead. 
In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Debbie Edwards, Deconstruction and Long-Term Planning for the Moon and Capricorn, May 19, 2022. Today, the Moon in early Capricorn is conjunct to Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. There may be some brooding beneath the surface, especially in regards to our judgments and concerns with how others in the family or household are spending their money, their innate work ethic, and what future plans for the family look like. Are we all on the same page about the life we want to build together or keep building? Are we willing to adjust our plans or write new blueprints? We could also be tossing around ideas of how to plan to attain a higher level of abundance or wealth, all the while watching everything else we built that no longer resonates crumble to the ground. We could see folks suddenly want to sell their home and buy new, or close out long-standing bank accounts to secure a new one with lower fees. We could see people draw inward and put their nose to the grindstone in efforts to turn things around where the fruits of their labor have previously dried up. We could also see people close their businesses or decide to take them in brand new directions. This is all about going back to the drawing board and workbench to hammer out new plans. This is how we stay in the current of growth. The moon will be working harmoniously with Pluto even though it's retrograde. So this is a positive reset. A healthy deconstruction of what we have built in our lives. But the moon will also be squared off with Venus and Aries. We could see some people feel neglected or sidelined in love. And we could see people argue about the speed to which a courtship should progress. Aries energy is a fast burn and motivated mover. Capricorn slows things down, sometimes to a crawl for proper analysis. Some lovers may want to rush to an engagement or already hearing wedding bells, while the other may not even be ready for monogamy, let alone moving in together to start a family. We'll get to see who really wants what and if the timing matches up properly. This is all a positive thing though because we get to learn the truth in our partnerships. From there we get to decide if a connection is worth our time and effort. This is a time in which we get to go to work on our love languages too and write the poetry of what we want to say, how we want to be communicated to and what love really looks like to us personally. We may see work take precedence over love, but then again, it may be love that we need to work on. This is a time in which we get to feed our hungry souls for what it craves and decide whether or not we want to set out more place settings at our life's dinner table or if we want to eat alone. Today we don't have to overthink anything. We can be practical and industrious so we stay grounded. From Metavisionaries.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Sun and Taurus trine Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Perceptive insights unearth deeply buried treasures that put us in touch with our personal power. Push yourself to dig deeper, to challenge hidden fears. Shine a light on those dark places within. Consider whether you are still carrying baggage from the past. Isn't it time to let it go? Willpower is strong now, so direct it into productive channels. Resolve to change self-destructive behaviors. Purge all that has outlived its usefulness in your life. Help this process along by eliminating clutter in your home or office. Throw open your windows to allow fresh air and sunlight to infuse your space with positive energy. Visualize light flooding into your being, chasing away negativity. Utilize the power of now. You are in control. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Keen One, Red Magnetic Dragon, Archetype, primal force, beginning new Zolkin spin of 260 days, beginning 13 days red dragon wave spell, beginning 52 days red eastern castle of initiation. Today begins the 13 day red dragon wave spell of birth, the first initiating wave spell of the 52 day red eastern castle of turning, court of birth. Dragon Tribe initiates turning through power of birth, truth of galactic Neptune remembered. 
Entering into the red eastern castle of turning represents the dawn of stepping into planetary and interplanetary consciousness. As we glide into the new turning tides of depth and initiation, within we plant the seeds for future awakenings and openings that will serve as guides and blossom into powerful relationships for the future generations and beings to come behind us. This dawn of initiation is one of realizing radical and new teachings which demonstrate a confidence of being inside and out. It beckons us to find clear purpose and enter into respectful relationships with these new discoveries and teachers. Be mindful to staying aware and open to finding new information and letting it impregnate and potentiate your birth into a fresh dimensional life. Throughout all 52 of these days, ensure that you are constantly seeking from a space of total relaxation and ease. Whatever arises and calls you to learn and grow from, let it enter deep into you gracefully and release its shell exposing its seed naked and bare. Do not hesitate to call forth this primal awakening consciously. Let this destiny castle be the inception of a new world for yourself and others, and always remember... Initiating the seed now is the first step to harvesting the crop later. We can choose to enter into a self-initiated 260-day ceremony of light and vision on this day, Keen One, Red Magnetic Dragon. This is an opportunity to amplify our practices, to synchronize with galactic time. During this time, we can choose to focus our awareness for 260 days on a positive trajectory for Time Ship Earth. You might contemplate and write a vision for your life and the planet in your journal. The greater the detail, the better. For beginners, we might envision our rainbow family reunited in love and living in harmony all over the world, celebrating the unity and diversity. Allow yourself to dream and envision the world you would love to live in. Read your vision every day for 260 days and refine it as needed. Focus on it once in the morning and once before sleep. Imagine you are telepathically transferring this vision into the noosphere, planetary mind. Our actions follow thought. The world needs as much positive vision and practical action as possible. When a thought or vision is held continuously in the mind, it can be telepathically projected into the planetary mind or noosphere. This requires the development of continuing consciousness the ability to hold a single thought form for a duration. This 260-day experiment concludes on Keen 260, Yellow Cosmic Sun, February 2nd, 2023, Resonant Moon 24 of the Red Self-Existing Moon Year. At this time, you might also amplify your inner and outer practices. If you are new to this, you might begin a 260-day cycle of tuning to the 13 moon calendar. Each day simply meditate on one of the 260 self-synchronization commands or affirmations that correlate to the 260 keen galactic spin each day. These daily affirmations are contained in the synchronometers of the 13 moon star travelers almanac of synchronicity, red queen keen 185, dragon wave spell the action of red dragon is to nurture and this means taking care of what we want to grow we are at the start of the zolkin spin and find ourselves birthing babies conceived 260 days ago that need to be pushed into emergence nursed through infancy until they are strong enough to stand on their own you'll see projects relationships opportunities crowning out of a karmic birth canal and need to caretake them as soon as you are holding them visibly in your arms instead of within the recesses of your reproductive organs whatever comes to light now is intensely of you your magic and to let it matter in the outer world stay closely connected vigilant certain of its importance give it love presence delight be amazed at your creativity and how this outcome was seeded cooperatively with another person or resonance Remember the masculine principle, bring it close to protect you and the nurturance you are embodying. The power of red dragon is birthed because the mother-child reunion is preceded by the most painful gesture of love we enact. 
the red dragon's fierceness and fire is a reflection of the searing tearing split mothers withstand in order to free their offspring to individuality this happens once we give physical birth and endlessly ever after when we allow our children to grow up to our own level and even higher this wave spell invites some quality of worthwhile suffering tears outbursts of misdirected anger the instinctual will to open while the pain thresholds begs everything to close down we let our actual children our inner children other works we birth into the world become free but it hurts this time is for allowing necessary discomfort and remembering that the teaching of a woman's body the worst pain is rewarded with the ultimate blessing of innocence and purity new life from thirteen moon peace time dot com and today from the Dolkeen times keen one red magnetic dragon magnetic is the name for the number one and today is the very first day of a whole new Dolkeen spin new beginnings start here whether you want to change your life or start a new project this is a great day to proclaim your intentions to succeed the keywords associated with number one are attract unify and purpose on number one days we can feel compelled to find a purpose once this purpose is identified we can then proceed to attract what we need to follow the task through to completion for smaller projects ideas a wave spell can prove to be a useful tool start out on day one with the promise to yourself you will complete by the last day for bigger things you can use the whole zolkin cycle in the same way so if you want you can use today to find a purpose that will motivate you enough that you'll see it through to the end today is red dragon and its keywords are nurture being and birth dragon symbolizes new beginnings but it also is about taking good care of yourself this dragon day falls on a portal day which only happens twice in the Zolkeen, and so this is, gives a nice boost to the energy of the day it's a great day for taking it easy and being kind to yourself and others find a nice comfy cave to hide in for a while and see how much better you'll feel afterwards once you are in a relaxed mood contemplate your new beginnings and meditate on the plans you have have you noticed how hard it is to think straight when you are burnt out taking care of yourself is not a waste of time but an investment in your future dragon energy can bring out our caring nature and we can feel like we need to look after others on these days make sure you are not last on your list of people who deserve some care the guide for the day is also red dragon a double helping of nurturing and birth and from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio red magnetic dragon one emish keen one nineteenth of may twenty twenty two birthing a new era nineteen five twenty twenty two equal ten five six equal one eleven equal one two equal three one eleven divine new beginnings day codes nineteen prince of heaven fulfillment happiness honors ten manifestation authority power one new beginnings leader original three holy trinity joy creativity month year codes five freedom liberation change transformation movement six heaven christ family romance fertility eleven illumination portal gate polarity two twins cooperation partner duality twenty the awakening clear vision twenty two architect of peace master builder keen one new beginnings galactic activation portal a divinely heaven-sent portal for a fresh new start today we are birthing a new cycle a new world and a new reality one 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 so many new beginnings and leadership numbers today as we step up as creator beings in order to birth this beautiful new cycle may nineteenth the one and nine encompasses the alpha and the omega with every end we have a beautiful new beginning yesterday the nine codes marked a final completion leading to today's brand new start we have the nine endings code aligning with the one new beginnings through the start of a new galactic spin on the Zolkeen in the dream spell galactic calendar a divine new beginning we have completed our journey with the brilliantly elegant yellow star as we bid adieu to the beautiful influence of lamat 
who has sparked our creativity and opened our eyes to the beauty, peace, and harmony that exists in our world and what it is that we wish to now create. Yellow Star reminds us to slow down and let our lives become a poetic work of art, a lesson that our global family needs to learn and implement in this new cycle. Our life is the canvas and we are the artist, and so we are now launching into impending stardom, ready to take center stage as the shining stars in our own life journey. We are commencing a new story now, so it is time to paint the first chapter. Today marks the beginning of a fresh new 13-day wave spell with the Red Dragon as our guide. This is the first new wave spell which kicks off our new higher octave spin of the Zolkin Mayan calendar for the next 260-day, 9-month journey. The Red Magnetic Dragon is our host, Keen number 1, as we are escorted back to the void, the sacred womb of creation for some much-needed divine nurturance through the dragon tribe. Red dragons represent our primal mother, how we create and how we nurture ourselves and others. What is it that is our responsibility to nurture? How will you nurture and pamper yourself and your family each day? And what creation will you birth? These are the questions to consider during this wave spell. Every soul is seeking the divine love and union with our source, father, mother, God, our heavenly parents. To receive this blessing, we must know that we are all worthy of divine love and that nothing you have said or done can impede this divine truth. Our Mother Father is an all-forgiving of any perceived sins, wrongdoings, or imperfections in the human construct of reality. Cast away any harsh judgments of yourself or others into the fires of forgiveness, allowing God's grace to bless you and bring forth the miracles that you deserve. It is through our pure divine child that we are the most connected to our mother, father, God, that beautiful aspect born of innocence that naturally holds the keys to creation. The mother bursts through the divine child, so keep accessing the spontaneous exuberance of your divine child to birth your creations. The gift of Chuain today lies in utilizing the white magic to exit the false illusory world reflected in the hall of mirrors look for the magic and synchronicity at play to point the direction in which to travel keep it light nurture your divine child and stay in your heart reacting with what feels right and true to you laugh at any of our illusionary problems and know that tomorrow will be an even better day keep moving in the direction of divine love and nurturance and choose your playmates wisely Life just keeps getting better each and every day. Today's question is how can we birth our beautiful new compassionate world by loving and supporting each other in our united global family. Divine blessings for a pain-free and spontaneous natural birthing process. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 1. Red Magnetic Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to nurture, attracting being. I seal the input of birth with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us, our work in this channel with a monthly pledge, you can do so to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sherry Wolf, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. And we'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, A. Duck Kim, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. 
And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Golshan Singh, for your donation today. Thank you very much. We're very grateful for you and your support. And we appreciate every one of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. And now we complete today's transmissions from the Summit Lighthouse of Powerful Mantra, Divine Decree, Prayer, or a Strengthening Mantra by Kotumi. I am light, glowing light, radiating light, intensified light. God consumes my darkness, transmuting it into light. This day I am a focus of the central sun, flowing through me as a crystal river, a living fountain of light that can never be qualified by human thought and feeling. I am an outpost of the divine, such darkness as has used me is swallowed up by the mighty river of light which I am. I am, I am, I am light. I live, I live, I live in light. I am light's fullest dimension. I am light's purest intention. I am light, 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 flooding the world everywhere I move, blessing, strengthening, and conveying the purpose of the kingdom of heaven. From summitlighthouse.org Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred Zolkin galactic spin and a most powerful red dragon wave spell. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.